welcome me and welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today we're going to be doing another what i eat in a day just woken up i don't have any work this morning but i do have an appointment which i will tell you a bit more about later on so i've not got long now before i need to set off so let's go make some So while I'm making my breakfast, I'm just sipping on a glass of warm water with two capfuls of this apple cider vinegar by Bragg. And I used to drink this quite a lot in the mornings, but I stopped doing it for a couple of years. But I've started again just because I've been feeling a bit sluggish recently and just a bit like my digestion needed some help. And having this in the morning really sets my body off to work and sets it up to digest my first meal of the day and cleanses in a similar way to having lemon and hot water in the morning. Um, you have to make sure you get one that says with the mother on it because that ensures it has all the benefits that you need and, and can get from drinking apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to sip on this while I make my breakfast. Okay, so we've not got that much in the house today but I'm just going to have some of this homemade granola that I've still got left which I will share the video on, um the recipe on another video and I'm going to mix in a couple of tablespoons of this flaxseed to get lots of really good fiber and some protein as well and um I'm gonna have it with some fruit I think we've got a bit of banana left okay so a slight change of plan got the last banana it was definitely mouldy so I'm just having the muesli with the flaxseed and then I'm just going to mix in some of this milk which is our own homemade oat milk. Karim started making this recently and it's been really really good because it tastes exactly the same as shop bought ones if not better and it's really cheap to make so I'll share that recipe with you as well later on. Okay, I need both hands now. <laughs> Chinese medicine once I've had a few more sessions but this is basically ongoing from working with the doctors due to the post pill amenorrhea that I'm currently suffering with and also to do with my skin and breaking out since I decided to come off the contraceptive pill and basically just getting to the bottom of all of that and so for me I'm finding it so interested, interesting with all of its connections to nutrition and diet and things like that so I'll keep you updated but anyway I'm feeling really tired now really hungry after that session so I'll show you what I'm gonna have for lunch okay so I'm gonna have a couple of these Linda McCartney sausages they're completely vegan they're just in the grill now cooking and then I'm gonna have them with some leftovers so we've got a couscous which Karim made yesterday that is couscous with tomatoes, red onion, peppers, all chopped up and added after I think there'd be some olive oil and salt and pepper and then this is cauliflower which he baked and I will ask him in a minute exactly how he did that and then I've got some beetroot, just one beetroot there that I had left in the fridge so all of this goodness with the sausages for some protein and just add a bit more to the dish. So there's some more there and back for him. So how do you make the cauliflower? <laughs> I'll 
opened it up. Yeah, you cut it up. I cut it up into segments. Yeah. Then I dipped it in oil with paprika, lots mm -hmm. of salt and mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. And then I just put them under the grill, nice hot setting. Yeah. For 10 minutes, then turn them over. Give them another good setting as long as you get a nice color on them yeah a nice dark color on them, that's really really and a good. lot of salt a lot of salt Lots yeah because they have this like barbecue taste to them they're really really amazing so you open it, it. here we go the final product mm. Job. I'm only going for a couple of hours to do some lifting work, but I've got a little snack that I'm taking with me. Just in case I get a bit hungry later on. So I've got three um, big dates in there: some roasted nuts, pecans, cashews, um, hazelnuts, and one piece of. I think it's like 80% dark chocolate um, by Lindt, so that one doesn't have any milk in or anything. Um, so yeah, the little pot to keep me going. <laughs> Guys, so I finished my job this afternoon and I've been back home for a little while. I had that little pot that I showed you earlier on my travels because all my trains were delayed, <laughs> so I ended up eating all of that a snack and now we're just gonna tuck into dinner so the last meal of the day I'll just show you what we're having um so we've gone for um bits is bits. what we like to call it so bits. basically just whatever's in the fridge or just like the odd bit of vegetables and things I'm not feeling that hungry my lunch was quite big so um I'll just show you what we've got so okay so here we've got some carrots Carrots? Tomatoes. Carrots. Oh, not carrots. Cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. There's cucumber. <laughs> Cut up tomatoes. And then here we've got aubergines, red peppers, which Karim just put in the oven. Grilled them. Under the grill. Under the grill. Salt, pepper, olive oil. And he's garlic. got some cheeses here, oh, and garlic, and some garlic. cheese, and then we've got some bread. <laughs> oh, and also a bit more of the leftovers from oh, yesterday. I'm not gonna show you. Yeah, we're gonna what? have a look. Why? So, also more of this couscous again, which we showed you earlier, nice. and some bread. So that's it. I'm gonna tuck you into this now. There we go. That's the couscous. So that's it for today. I was about to rummage the cupboards and have a little sweet treat, but I'm actually feeling really full. So I'm going to be really good and try to listen to my body and get myself ready for bed now. But thanks for watching this What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with regular videos like this showing you what I eat and recipes we create. Okay, thank you. Bye.